guys, it's me, Grace, and we're in the, in the um, bathroom. I'm not going to show you what I look like because I don't want any fear of villages coming. So today will be a video how to take care of the frog. The frog is right in there. I can't see him. Pretty sure you all can. I'm just going to lower the lighting a bit so you can see him. Okay. Now be amazed. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, this is a real frog. I'm just poke him in the butt for a second and show you. Come on, buddy. Don't you, don't you love me? Don't you, don't you love me? Here we go. Here he is. He is real. Come on, bud. Don't you, don't you want to do like a little check for the camera? Yeah, there we go. See? Definitely real. So, first, if you feel like he's dry, which I always do when I find a frog, you just put him in the water. Pool. You, if he doesn't like to swim, you can just like get your fingers wet. I like to do this just in case. Just do that. It's like a little wobble of water, you know. It's a little wobble so he doesn't have to swim. So, I would recommend this cleat be clean water because, and I wouldn't recommend you like just taking it home. I would like usually like take a stick and poke it and get it in a bag or something because you, you know it might be a poisonous frog. But this one is like um, green green tree frog. I had a gray gray tree frog, but my friend lost it, but it's okay. So you just put it, there we go. To get like rid of some bacteria it might have had. Okay. So you do not want to dry him off. If you have like a container like me, I just I just have this little thing just in case I have to go get something for him. Okay. Okay. See him in there. So I'm just gonna go let him dry and wash out my hands. Have this little cloth hanger. Okay. I have this little cloth with me. I'm gonna put it back. There we go. Okay. There's a pico. Cause I'm not sure if you guys can see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see if we have a flashlight. Oh, the light's still on. Oh, that's bad. Do not look at my address. But right over there, I'm not sure you guys can see. I'm going to turn the lighting on a bit. So then you can, there's the car just coming right over there. That is our bus stop. I'm not sure you can see it, but there's like a little black outline. And that's where my bus stop is. And there, and there's like ten, yeah, three dogs. One's named Oisa. And my friend owns him, my BFF. And then there's an other dog named Fern. Her, and um, Maddie. Maddie owns her. I, will, I won't tell you her definitions or like where she lives because she might just come and see her address and just, you know. But we do live in Ellicott City and just about everybody that watches this video would be in Ellicott City. Oh my god, I'm going to hide behind the camera. Yeah, you guys can see. I obviously have hair. Oh my god, it's too light. I'm sorry. I really wanted you guys to see that. But anyways, so, yeah, so let's check how my frog is doing. Oh, um, there's also, um, what is it, Coco? And she, that's why that acorn's there. Coco likes acorns. Anyways, let's see how you're doing. I'm the only one in the neighborhood that, who doesn't have a dog. I'm going to light it up a bit so you can see. Can you see my froggy? To the pier light of the sun! That's the sun right there. I'm just kidding. Darken this one a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, he's in there. I feel if he's dry enough. Yep, he is. Now, come on. Oh, come on, buddy. Okay. I'm going to put the ha camera down. So you can get a good view of this. Let me fix this camera for a second here. There we go. That's a nice good view of them. There we go. Now, 
You, I, you never want to pick him up like this because it really disturbs him or by his leg or like his head. Oh, and remember, it's an amphibian. So just want to carefully like pick it up. Like that. Go. And it'll stick to you like that. And it is an amphibian, which means it's a reptile. And all reptiles are cold blooded. So you need to make sure your temperature is perfect around like 70 or 60. Probably like 64 or something. You can't ever put it in the freezer and just leave it for a second. Because still, they are cold blooded. If you don't know what that means, that means the temperature is around its, is its body heat. So if you put it in a freezer just for a little while, it will still probably... Hey, come back here. Sorry, you got on the side of the counter. And if you want to catch like a wild one, come back here. Come on. No escaping. Okay. You you need to be on the ground for this one. You just hopped on the... Okay. I'm sorry. So you just go around the top because they like to hop. I named the Speedo. Speedo. But it, pretend that he's looking this way, okay? So, just put it there. Put the other way. Yeah. Just like how you catch a cricket. You guys probably don't know how to catch a cricket, but I am like a cricket catcher. I catch, catch crickets every day. At least. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's just too much. Where did you go, you little rascal? Oh, there you go, I got ya. No, I got ya, you cannot escape. Also, that is one way, but this frog will not cooperate, cooperate with me. And then you can just do this, like this kind of form. Then, yeah, cover. Then slowly pick it up. Like that. Don't like squish it or else it'll really hurt. Don't, see? Don't pitch him or it'll really hurt. And frogs are really speedy. But I will show you how to handle snakes. You will need a snake hook. I have a picture of it, but I, I don't know where my other snake hook went. I do not have a pet snake, but I did spot a lot. And we are going to this place that has like a white snake called Speedo, I mean, Stroke something. And so my friend said you could pet him, so we are going to see if we can pet him. And I might be filming. Get a good view of that. See if we can do a little focus. There you go. Let's focus on the eyes. See, so he's really beautiful. But if you have like a house thing, and this one is new to the house, and I have nobody. Oh, he's under the camera. Okay, is new to the house. So sometimes I have to pick him up. But if you have like a house toad that's been around, sorry, he's on my elbow, he had that. that's been like here for like a long time, and you just don't know how, you just start touching him by always hopping around, aren't you? Oh, hold your back. Yeah, that's 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 what you get. I'm I'm I'm, I'm actually really sorry. Okay. So you touch him like this. You need to cooperate, okay? Touch him on the back. And you don't want to like apply too much pressure, just softly press him. And if it doesn't do anything, then keep on doing it. And if he gets used to you, then you can basically just train him to get on your hand. And all you have to do is do this and push him on that. And do it a few times. So he gets used to it. But if you already have a way, then please tell me. Okay, in the water, yeah, just, just get out of the water, even. Okay, I hate frogs. I'm just kidding. You're so cute. Okay, get on there. Okay. So he just take a sw took a swim. Don't know why. And so, see, this is what my frog's doing right now. So if they're doing like a little cross arm thing where their arm is like inside, that means they're sleeping. They don't have eyes. Like, eyebrow eyelids so they can't close their eyes so if they're doing something like a little curl up that means they're sleeping so do not disturb them 
Most will hop around. Now, if your frog can't swim, which probably isn't because all frogs know how to swim, well, most all frogs. Just set this up quickly. Okay, Froggy, I'm going to trust you and leave you on the floor. We won't be really mad at you and we're never going to touch you again, okay? Good. Okay, so, here we go. I set up the coming room. So, all you really want to do is to get your frog, put him in, dash. My frog already knows. You just want to kind of, because he sticks. He Frogs are supposed to be sticky. If they aren't, then there's something wrong. You should go to the bed or something. Or just dive in some water and then take it out and let it dry. And you'll get a saliva. So you just, t it will probably stick. You can't, it won't like entirely stick. But it will get like a bit sticky and kind of stick there. Just a bit. Not a lot. But like, then you hold it and if it sinks, then you like, use your pinky. Just use your pinky. Or also be like, oh, it's okay, I have a photo, I won't even try. Okay? Eventually, you can't just do this one thing. So, you can't just do this one thing. Oh, cross, of course, frogs don't really like to swim. So, it's okay if you don't want him to learn how to swim. But, you know, a lot of frogs do. So, if you really want him to do it, then I have no problem. Now, if you don't want your frog to, like, swim or anything, or you just, um... Do not, like, just turn this on and just put him there for a second. That will really, like, apply pressure on him, which makes it really hard and, you know, it just feels really uncomfortable. Oh, this this is cold. Oh, I'm sorry. So, make sure it's, like, warmish. My water is super cold. That's why he doesn't like it. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. I'm a cold person. I like the cold, so I didn't know. You just, I'm not going to use my frog now because I just think he doesn't really like it then. So I'm going to get my paper thing and let him dry off. You guys can watch him.